In this video, I am going to share three tips for students who are using Google Classroom. Tip number one, use the private comments function. This is best to use when you have a question about the classwork and don't want to engage in a general discussion among the class. This will help you to chat with your teacher directly. This is how the students can use the private comments function. Go to the classwork tab. Go to the specific classwork where you have a question. Click the view assignment link. On the right side of the next page, you will see the private comments area. Whatever you will write and send here will only be visible between you and your teacher. Just in case you prefer your question to be seen by everyone, then these two options will make you do so. The first option can be found in the Stream tab. You will find a Share with your class text box. In here, you can write your question. Remember, whatever you will post will be seen by everyone in the class. The second option is to go to the Classwork tab. Go to the specific classwork where you have a question. Click the View Assignment link. And on the next page, scroll down until you see the comment box. This is a public comment area, which means not only your teacher can read and comment, but everyone enrolled in the class. Tip number two, don't forget to press the Mark as Done button and the Turn In button. Suppose you are done taking the quiz. Do not forget to press the Mark as Done button. Remember that even if you answer the quiz, let's say the one in the Google Forms, Google Classroom will still treat your account to have not answered the quiz. That's why you need to press the Mark as Done button. By doing so, your teacher will see your name in the list of students who have answered the quiz. If your teacher has given you an assignment, like requiring you to submit a file, remember to always turn it in. If you fail to click the Turn In button, your name will be included in the list who have not finished the assignment and your teacher might consider your work as late, even though you completed it on time. Here's tip number three. Use the calendar feature. If you want to see at a glance what are the tasks and when they are due, you can go to the calendar feature in Google Classroom. How to get there? Go to the three-bar symbol located on the left side of the screen. Select the calendar from the menu. On this page, students will be able to see the tasks and when they are due. The tasks will be shown per subject. To switch from one subject calendar to the next, simply go to the upper left corner and select which Google class you want to view. You can also move the cover date by going to the middle of the screen. The left arrow will allow you to see the previous dates, while the right arrow is for the following week. I hope you find these tips useful in your use of Google Classroom. If you have suggestions that you think will help other students to better use the Google Classroom, please write it in the comment section. If you think this video will help other students, please like and share this with them. They might need exactly what I just talked about here. I also hope that you are going to consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you!